नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवेकनिंग विद ब्रह्मा कुमारीज यूर वॉचिंग इलेवन वेलकम सिस्टर ओम शांति ओम शांति लास्ट टाइम यू वर स्पीकिंग अबाउट इंटेंशन बट सो मेनी टाइम्स आई स्पीक लाउडली एंड आई जस्ट ब्लेम इट टू इंटेंशन काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सक्यूज ऐसे बाई इंटेंशन वॉज गुड नो इट वॉज फॉर द पर्सन गुड नो but i shouted because to help him no but uh, but honestly this intention is good then absolutely but still they are hurt suppose someone is not working properly or someone's making a mistake in what they're doing they're not doing their work sincerely someone is dishonest or whatever you have to correct them intention is to get the work done properly intention could also be to save them from making a mistake so intention is very pure and even the other person has no doubt on your intention and even the other person knows that your intention is very nice but what is happening with that is they are not working properly hmm. is creating a little irritation here hmm. so when that irritation is getting created my intention converting into words is also carrying an energy of irritation and anger oh That is Let's right. say this is not the way things have to be done, and one is this is not the way you have to do the thing. The word is the same. Or this is the way to do. This it. is the way to do the thing. Intention is hundred percent pure. You know, even people around you will say, "I know your intention is pure, but you don't have to shout at us every time for the same thing." When I get irritated or disturbed by somebody else's karma, I am creating disturbing energy. And then sometimes what will happen? Even your good intentions and right words and good advice for them will not reach them because it's carrying the irritation and anger along with it. And when you send an irritation energy, I will withdraw. Hmm. Once I withdraw, even their best of advice is not reaching me. This happens especially between parents and children. Parents have the best intention for a child. best advice for a child but because they get critical or they get angry and then they give the advice the child withdraws they are not ready for it it's not they are ready you have thrown that energy which has pushed them away It's from blocked. you blocked the learning is blocked the learning is blocked because when i get negative energy from you i go into pain hmm once i go into pain how will i learn hmm my mind has actually the parents duty is to take that person out from, from pain, pain. Yes. make him normal absolutely see that he is ready and give him the dose softly right one when, when somebody is in pain they will not be able to listen to what is good for them mm. because the mind has gone into pain it's like i fall down and then you're giving me best advice it may be the best thing for me but i won't listen because my mind is towards my injury which needs healing before i listen to your advice Mm. so what happens is va- very valuable advice also is not taken heeded of it's just i matlab it's not even that i won't listen to it or i won't follow it it's just that it did not even register because my mind was busy with the pain i was shouted at every time they're shouting at me is this the way to talk to me and that too in front of 50 people they shouted at me my mind has gone there my mind has gone into creating those thoughts and so physically i'm here listening to what you're saying but mentally i'm doing something else and then you will say i've said this same thing to you so many times you're still making the mistake again because every time you said it to me it came packaged with the energy of anger before i had this knowledge i used to speak loudly or harshly and tell the truth now i'll do the same thing looking at the other person's mood time and make the person normal or comfortable and then speak what is destiny to do with this was that predestined or what is this predestined why have i learned now and not before this is a very nice word predestined and that's why many times we get a little confused many people write emails to us or they will say but we've heard everything is predestined hmm. and yet spirituality seems to say every time that you are the creator of your destiny So these two lines seem to be absolutely contradictory because if I am the creator of my destiny then it's as if I'm writing something absolutely 
fresh, new. And if it is already predestined, then what am I writing? I'm not writing anything. What is predestined is already happening. happening. Both the lines are true. Everything is predestined. This is also true. And I am the creator of my destiny is also true. Hmm. And at every moment, both the things are happening. How? See, now we understand that whatever energy I send out, that energy comes back to me. Hmm. So we accepted that. That means law of karma is working continuously. Which means whatever karma I have done before, that is going to come back to me. This is predestined. Oh, this destiny I created before. I created. First thing is beautiful. Now, this is again very the important. The destiny I created before. before. But even that was created by me. Yeah, I But created. it's predestined. For my this moment, that is predestined. But hmm. predestined by who? By me. Like when a child is born, when a soul takes a new costume, they have a horoscope. Right? And a horoscope for the entire life, gives very strategic events that are going to take place in that life. You will fall ill at around this time, get married at this time, career will be like this, at this age take care of this. These little milestones are given in the in complete astrological chart. Now, how this must be getting prepared? How does this happen? A soul has just taken a new costume. We are saying he's going to write his own destiny. And someone is already telling him that this is what is going to happen in your life. How is this happening? Now, the soul which has just come taking the new costume has already pre performed lot of karmas. Mm. Lot of karmas in lot of costumes. Mm. This soul, when it leaves the earlier body, we saw last time, the only thing that it carries with it is, is imprint. Sanskar. The sanskar, the imprint of all the karmas they performed and the sanskars they created. Mm. So it's like something which came into the new costume with a blueprint. Blueprint of all that I have done before. All the lovely things I've done, I'm going to get the return of that. I've born into a nice family. I have a healthy body when I'm born. Similarly, I'm going to have a good career. This is when I'm going to get married. This is the kind of soul I will get married to. All this is predestined hmm. because the soul that I will get married to, the soul who, you know, will come to my family as children are souls with whom I've already had interactions, past karmic hmm. accounts. This imprint I'm already carrying. And therefore, science, astrological science can give you a rough, you know, it's like a rough estimate of your blueprint of what's going to happen in this lifetime. This is all predestined. This will come to me. It's predestined. At that same moment, I will choose how to face it. Hmm. That is not predestined. Okay, okay. What will come to me is predestined. How I will face what comes to me, I will be writing my destiny. Let's say somebody gives me the astrological prediction. At this age, your business will have some problem. Predestined. And more or less, it will happen according to the prediction. So my business will have some problem was predestined and it has happened according to a previously written destiny. Predestined, written destiny. Written by myself. Me. It comes. But when it comes this time, how I will face it, what will be my state of mind, and what steps I will take to cross that failure hmm. is not predestined. That I'm going to choose now. And as I choose that now, I create. I create my destiny. My destiny, which will be obvious to me in my present and also write my destiny for another day when I'm going to say this was predestined. Beautiful. So how it becomes a continuation, a carry forward from first to the next to the next. Let's say I've had a past karmic account with you. I had done something. Now my chart says at around the age of 30, you take care in your business. Somebody will cheat you. 
Okay. And then around that time, somebody says, okay, your stars are not nice. Someone is going to cheat you in your work this time. And according to prediction, it happens. And then I say, yes, this was predestined. So you come and you do something which you cheat me in my business predestined. This time, because of knowledge of karma and meditation, I say, okay, let me take whatever action I have to take, but I will not use any wrong mean. I will not create hatred for this person. I will not take revenge. I will just see that I can do the best with my money and my business. I'm choosing to write my karma a different way. And now I'm writing a destiny, which today I will be comfortable because I did not create hatred for you. I was comfortable, no what revenge. What if I choose violence yeah. and say yeah. that it was predestined for the other guy? Again, according to whose karma are we going to work? Mine. Even if I say this was predestined for you, I will use violence which was predestined for you. But me using violence creates whose destiny? Mine. Mine. So I'm not going to get entangled about your karmic account. My focus is going to be completely on mine. mine. So when you come and cheat me, I have two options. Either to take care and use ethical means to sort out the issue or to use violent means and do use all kind of wrong practices just to get my money back. If I use the violent method, I've again created negative karma. I go into pain right now and most important, just right now, I'm writing a destiny that when we meet again, we are again going to have a very complicated karmic account. This is being written by me now in my present karma. And so then when we meet again, whether it's 10 years down the line in this lifetime or 100 years down the line, something will again happen. You will do something to me, which I will say this was predestined, but this got predestined today. So predestined, yes. Creator of my destiny, yes. I am the creator of my destiny at every moment. But the moment that has passed becomes predestined for me in the next moment. So we need to understand the chart is not according to planets. The planets, the chart is telling us about the influence of the planet on the soul. But the soul is carrying their chart and that is what is prepared. Now what we need to take care is do not depend so much on all of these things. Because anyways, earlier we created it. And anyways, this time when it comes, we have to face it. Hmm. Important is not to know what is going to come. Important is to strengthen yourself and be ready to face everything that is going to come. So this we have to take care because what happens, we're so dependent on the prediction and we're so dependent on leading our life according to the prediction that we're not using our powers. And now when I don't use my powers now, I'm creating a karma of depleting my energy and writing a destiny that I am weak and I will continue to be weak. So we have to be very aware that I have to use my powers and create my destiny. You know what happened, sister? The, a few months back, uh, one of my relatives was in a problem and I went as uh, to help him. He owed somebody money, three crores, I mean, it's a big amount. And uh, I just said that, uh, why don't you settle both of them? And once, twice, two, three meetings and we had coffee, everything together. And they settled to a certain amount. I said, thank you so much. I'll never be able to repay you for what you've done. Thank you for helping my brother's child. And uh, after a few months, I get a notice from the uh, police and from the courts and that and some warrants against me. And that too, non-bailable. I was so shocked and I was so angry that I went to help those two guys fighting with each other. And I just helped both of them to settle to a certain amount. And that fellow just thought that by pressurizing me mm -hmm. so that my name should be in newspapers, and it was. Mm -hmm. Front page, Suresh Oberoi owes three crores, his checks bouncing case, this, that, that, non-bailable warrant against Suresh and Vivek Oberoi. So the whole world started calling me cheater. I was angry. I was very angry. 
I said, I, I'm going to show him this, that, all that I thought. But finally, I said, I must uh, use my Raj Yoga knowledge here. The, you know, first thing what I did, I went, I was, when I was sitting for meditation in the morning, I was giving blessings to my children, brothers, children, family, and whoever used to come to my thought and brought this man, the man who cheated me, who troubled me, I brought him into the picture, gave him a lot of blessings. And I told him that whatever I had done probably with him in the last past uh, birth or whatever he's done, and I'm sorry if I've hurt you. I gave him blessings and I asked, asked God and the universe to give him a lot of wisdom so that, you know, he should not be hurt because finally he's going to be a, a loser because he's done all lies. I have nothing to do with it. See, practical example. Yes, but I not only will win the case, but I will win within me. Absolutely. Against my anger, against my revenge, against my past sanskars. Right. So this is going to create new sanskars for me? This is not only creating new sanskars for you, it's also creating a new karmic account with that soul. Mm -hmm. Which is very important. See, anyone who intentionally has maligned you and publicly, you know, in such a big way, it's not just a one-to-one -one personal. And no reason. And no reason, yeah. So, deliberately has maligned you in a very big way. Let us remember that it's a deep karmic account. We also must have done something really, really big. Really big. See, this is where it becomes easier to accept and to understand. Medical science has a technique today called past life regression. What does past life regression do? Just regress the CD, hypnotize and go into the past. Now suppose we had to have a regression done for this particular case. The doctor will rewind you, rewind you, rewind you and take you to the time when you were in interaction with this soul before. The one who has hmm. maligned you or troubled you this time. And there you will get to see what you had done to him. And really when you see what you had done to him, then what he is doing to you today will not seem very big. Yeah. You know, it's because we don't know what we had done. So what people do to us today seems really terrible. Hmm. And that's why past life regression has become a very big healing technique for people. There are unexplained situations in their life. There are unexplained relationships where, which is causing a lot of pain and all that they do is get a past life regression done. And what will that say? That will say in this particular lifetime, you were with this soul and this is what was your relationship and this is what had happened. Just that knowledge. So that means it is, it is predestined karma, yes. it is past karma, otherwise it cannot be so accurate. Absolutely. Somebody else taking a loan, somebody else's uh, bank account, somebody else's check bouncing. I have to intervene. And most important, you met that person for the first time. First time in my life. First time. So there is no question, no and doubt. And I did not find anything against him. I did not hate him when I met him. Right. I ne never got any uh, bad feelings, ill feelings. I shook hands. I said, thank you so much. Right. For... So we, I meet a person for the first time. And in that first meeting, I help them. And second, they create all this trouble for me. How can this be explained? Front page, newspapers, public humiliation. father and son cheaters, bouncing, check bouncing case. But again, I have to take personal responsibility that it's a very, very, very strong past karmic account. It's over. It's over. No, it's got better now. Hmm. See, because again, when... When I come to know what I've done, it becomes healing. You know why they say get a past life regression done? The knowledge will heal you. The knowledge that what you had done will stop creating any questions now. Let's say now, another option could have been, how could he do this to me? You chose, like this particular situation, you chose, okay, you're taking a legal action, but no hatred, resentment towards him, no wrong ways of On taking the revenge. I bless him every morning in my Raj, Raj Yoga meditation, the one you taught me. Absolutely. Now, see, so this is one option. The other option could have been using wrong means to put him down. 
right? Whether it could be in the media or it could be any other ways of pushing that person down. Now, when I get the knowledge that I have done something to him earlier, if I do it through a past life regression technique, the minute I get the knowledge, see that's why the knowledge word is important. The minute I get the knowledge, I say, okay, which means what this soul is doing to me now is not unfair. What I had done to him was also very big. So what happened? I accepted him. Mm. I accepted the situation and then my way of responding will be in a different way. Do we need to get a past life regression? No. Just knowledge is enough that I have done something before. I don't need to go into a regression and find out what exactly I had done. I don't need to. Just knowledge, I have done something before. This soul has come back to me. Now I have a choice how to respond. His coming back and doing this public humiliation and, you know, filing this case against me was predestined. But now how, how I'm facing the situation, I'm writing my destiny. Now how meditation will help here? Because Raj Yoga meditation, like we said, is here to change our sanskars, which help us to settle our past karmic accounts. Mm. Which means that while I'm meditating and studying this spiritual knowledge, I'm working on myself. As I'm working on myself, I'm strengthening myself. The soul is becoming stronger and the soul has knowledge that I'm a soul, another soul, past karmic account and powerful and strong situation came and a big situation. Now, this is not a small one. This is one of the big ones that can come in a lifetime. I did it and my son's name is there. Yes. And how many people at that time could have also said, forgiveness is not the way. You should gift it for that to that person. So even facing all that peer pressure that's going to come, you stuck to your way of living, which spirituality had taught you a new way of thinking, which most of the people around us might not agree initially. They'll call it weakness. They'll call it weakness. They'll say, if you do like this, he's going to pressurize you more. even more. Shout back at him, you know, revolt to what he has done. That's not the truth. Now, meditation helped you to remain stable. One, initially, like you said, I got angry. And then yeah. immediately, what did you do? immediately took charge of yourself. This is what is very important. The old sanskar came up, mm. anger. Had you let the old sanskar overpower you, the next series of actions would have gone in another direction altogether. The old sanskar got triggered, but the new knowledge and the new sanskar which has started getting created of stability, peace and forgiveness, that also got triggered wisdom was there, this sanskar was used. When I used this sanskar, my past karmic account that had come gets neutralized. This method which I used of Raj Yoga, mm. which I learned and I used some kind of, a, uh, is this the result of some kind of a good I did down, now in this present uh, life in your present life if i had done some good things and this is a result of my good karmas that i could use this kind of a positive attitude towards a negative thing absolutely see all so we can always say yeah. here yeah. i'm learning one more thing right that this was a bad karma of the past right and people usually say how to dissolve the bad past karmas so this is dissolved Absolutely, it's dissolved because you faced it in a different way. But, but why I faced? Because I must have done something good now. You have done something before. good before. You have done something good before. So that balance. That balances. Plus, right now, because of the good that you've done before, you got the opportunity to be exposed to a new way of thinking. See, getting exposed to a spiritual knowledge, to a new way of thinking, accepting it and being ready to use it, you are writing that destiny now. Let's say this is a program which is being aired on TV now. Okay, mm. How many million people must be watching this? So exposure of the knowledge is to everybody. So let's say one million people are watching this now. So one million people are taking this piece of knowledge right now, like how all of us took it some way or the other, through a book, through a lecture, 
through a TV program. So one million people listen to this right now. Mm. Many of them would have some situation in their life right now. Maybe not so big, but at least could be a small one. Now, right now, they will write their destiny. If one of them says, oh, this is all theory. This doesn't work. This is all a passive way of living. Acha, this is coming back to me because I had done. This is a weak way of living. And they continue to use the negative method. They are writing a different destiny. Somebody says, okay, this seems to make sense. Let me at least try it out. Let me see how I feel when I use this way of living, forgiving, not getting bitter. That person will take their destiny to a different direction. Situations that have come to their life are predestined. Knowledge that they are getting right now is also predestined. You know, I meet so many people who will say, oh, that particular problem was in my life and that day I just switched on the TV and at that particular moment this program came and you all were talking about that particular issue. Now, this is all not coincidence. You cannot have so many coincidences in your life. This was predestined for this solution to come to you because of your very good past karma. So the solution came to you was predestined. How you use the solution now, you're writing your destiny. So at every moment, all our good karmas are coming back to us and also some of our wrong karmas. And what we are doing with them is what we are writing the fresh destiny. Now suppose an astrologer would have predicted this situation for you. Let's say two years before, somebody tells you, Next year, on this September, you be careful. Somebody is going to do some big, big mischief with you. What is the use if I only know that much? No use. When it would have come, I would have still reacted through my old son's scars. So of what use is just knowing that someone is going to come and do something? Important is equipping myself for it. So the prediction is not important. Important is am I prepared to face the prediction in a different way this time. So that is where meditation will help me. And like you beautifully said, every morning in my meditation, I'm blessing that soul. Now what will mean by blessing that soul? That I connect to the Supreme Power, I connect to God, my parent, for love, support. I thank Him for this wisdom and the knowledge that I've got and use that power and love to strengthen myself and to send good wishes to this soul. There is an exchange of energy going on between that soul and you. I still wish him. Yes. So now what will happen? That soul, because of the karma that he has done with you, he's created, he is still creating negative thoughts for you. He's bitter. There is hatred there. That's why he's doing this to you. So just look at it. There is this black energy, your know, negative energy coming to you. And you're sending God's power and blessings to him your good wishes to him. So negative energy coming from here and positive energy traveling from here. Positive energy traveling from you to him first protects you. When you create positive energy, the other person's negative energy will not influence you that much and your sending positive energy will eventually, eventually neutralize that effect of the other soul. So you've just changed your karmic account. It's a very, very powerful method. Now, if we would have just climbed thousand steps and asked God for forgiveness, dipped ourselves in holy water without changing our sanskar, you cannot settle your first. I, if I, uh, first I would use violence against mm, him, and then do all and that. then again say sorry to God and so many things and make karma. Isn't this much better? It's not that we're not to do those rituals. We should. Whatever rituals we are following in our culture, in our family, continue doing everything. But more important is while doing that ritual, you have to remember that the intention was doing purification here. So even when you're performing that ritual, take charge of at least one sanskar and work on purification of that sanskar. So it's about taking care. Accept peace and love. Absolutely. Three things we'll try now. Perfect. Thank you so much. Sister. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. If you wish to discuss your problem or have a question to ask or want to know your nearest Raj Yoga Meditation Center, write to us at 
awakeningwithbks at gmail.com or call us on 099 99